Uh, John stays up to date in all the celebrity headlines and golf scores. <laughs> He even has unique facts that many may not know. He joins us now with another edition of Wiki Who. Yep, Ray Romano shot an 87 yesterday. Oh, guys, thank at you. Lakeside thank Club you. in LA. Mm -hmm. oh, that was a good God. day for him. Okay, so if you need a refresher on how the game works, really, I mean, come on. Uh, it goes like this. I give you three famous people who have something in common, and then I give you a semi-obscure factoid from their Wikipedia page. You have to tell me who it applies to. Today, I am writing a wrong from yesterday. Oh. oh. Remember I said I wish I'd included RuPaul in the yes. group of famous yeah. Pauls? Yes. Mm -hmm. So today we have RuPaul, okay. Ron Paul, and Paul Simon. Okay. It's a do-over. <laughs> yeah. We had Rand Paul yesterday, today we have Ron Paul. Okay. okay. And I so substituted funny. RuPaul for Logan Paul and then added Paul Simon. It's a, it's a really interesting dinner party right there. It really yeah. is. It is. Imagine taking a cross-country flight with those three. Okay. <laughs> Question number one, which Paul owns a ranch in Wyoming with 35 fracking wells on it? Oh, wow. Uh, I would say that's Paul Simon. I'm going to say Paul Simon as well. You guys are both going Paul mm -hmm. Simon, are yeah. you? Yeah. Well, guys, Ron Paul loves wells. His wife's maiden name is Wells. Mm. But for a congressman from Texas, he owns a shockingly low number of oil wells. <laughs> Zero, from what I can tell. RuPaul held the climate-themed ball on his show to raise awareness for the environment, so it doesn't really make sense that he would have fracking on his land. Mm -hmm. But that's why people called him a hypocrite after it came out what? that he has a 60,000-acre ranch in Wyoming with fracking going on on it. I am shook it. Yes. I would have never thought that. Huh. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said in an interview that he, uh, that he sells mineral rights and water and stuff to oil companies and people went and dug into it and found that there are 35 fracking operations happening on his land. Wow. Hmm. Had no idea. Question number two. Dos. Which Paul dated a 16 year old when they were 22? Hmm. I'm gonna say Ron Paul. I'm going to concur. You guys are both Ron going Paul. Ron Paul. Yes. Okay, guys, at 22 years old, RuPaul made his debut on public access TV in Atlanta. If he was dating anybody at the time, it's not mentioned in his Wikipedia page. When Ron Paul was 22, it was a different time. Which is probably what Paul Simon would say when you asked him about the time he dated a 16 year old. Uh -huh. What? Yes, he was over in London. His music career was just about to take off. Uh, I, I can't vouch for why he was dating a 16 year old, but that's when it happened oh. in his life. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. And I'm sure the, it was a different time explanation would yeah. be the one that you give. <laughs> it was did a he, different time. Did you tell her, you can call me Al? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the authorities, my name's Al. Yeah. Although, but all of a sudden, the Mrs. Robinson song takes on a different. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> guys, uh -huh. if I stump you here, yeah, I am gonna go three for three. Ooh. You are. Last time I got a donut. Will you know what we got to get, for you today? Will I get chicken? Pollution beer is what we have for you. Pollution, today. Yeah, two more pollution beers in there for you. I'm hoping for chicken. Okay, question number three. Okay. Which Paul won the 200 meters? State championship, track and field talking about, not swimming. Oh, you better work. Because I think RuPaul didn't, I, I feel like RuPaul ran track. I feel like I RuPaul's got that. the long legs. Yeah. I can see RuPaul doing very well. Right? Let's go RuPaul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys yeah, are both yeah, RuPaul. on RuPaul. Yeah. Oh, RuPaul. Guys, well, Paul Simon may not look very athletic. And for good reason, he's not. No. Uh, RuPaul's long legs, though, aren't just for strutting around in high heels, guys. And neither are Ron Paul's, but they're good what? for running because he was one of the fastest kids in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania when he was growing up. Get out of here, Ron! You better <laughs> Ron, get it, sir. Ron Paul won the 200 meters. Look at Ron Paul. Oh man, did they uh, time that with like a like a solar array or something? Man? I mean, yeah. it was the 1950s in Pennsylvania. I don't know. I don't know what the competition was like, but he won. Okay. Well, right on. Hmm. Four um, other kids you have show up. stumped us, sir. Yeah. Uh, yes, and I'm now waiting for my chicken to arrive. Well, here's the problem. Mm. That's not here. But what is here is that they're beer. 
pollution beer. Pollution, pollution beer. beer. And there's a something that there says Tina's cheese. Yeah. You can have that. <laughs> it has been here for a millennia. We had Tina's cheese and Amina's egg in there. I was like, we can make an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go uh, see if I can find anything I want in here. All right. All right. Let's go do that. Because as the rule state, I can lay claim to anything in here now. Oh, there's, yes. there's some bread in there. Still. In his cheese. In his cheese. <laughs> All right. Big jug of log cabin syrup. Mm. How old is that? Sweet dude. We have ginger ale. Oh, there you go. That's something. More good day. Coming up after uh, John's snack break. Sweet <laughs> condensed milk. Delicious. Tub of ranch. <laughs>